if she doesn't drown? What if she doesn't drown? Then she is a witch. And that shit you just pulled did not work. And I like to believe that that was the case with Miss Black Agnes. That she got away. <laughs> I'm probably dramatizing it, but whatever. Um, so, but she was accused of being a witch um, and people thought that she was a vicious woman so yeah um not much is said about like how they got to this point but it seems as if once they left town they began robbing and cannibalizing their victims um Like from the jump we're like mm, human meat or if it was more of a out of necessity thing like they were robbing people to get money and with the money they did have they probably wanted to try to live off of it so they figured let's rob these people and when we kill them we can eat them and then we won't have to worry about food it's not real clear how they get to the point of eating their victims. But yeah, they're riding, robbing and cannibalizing their victims for a bit before they find this coastal cave in which they choose to reside. They're like, we're going to set up, we're going to live in this cage, cave. Um, so it says that the cave was... 200 yards deep and the entrance blocked the entrance of the cave would get blocked during the high tide which made it easy for them to live there undiscovered for 25 years now let's get into the entire clan overall there were just under about 50 members of the clan um once again this was set in scotland in the 16th century um the clan was composed of sonny black agnes their eight sons their six daughters their 18 grandsons and their 14 granddaughters all of the grandchildren were a result of incest. So, yeah, it was getting weird in the cave. Um, it was thought that over the course of 25 years that the clan caught and murdered. It, very, it really differs. Some sources say over a thousand people. Some sources said like five thousand. Some places say a couple thousand. It seems to be somewhere between one thousand people and five thousand people. Over the course of twenty-five years, let me see how many people is that per year. I'm gonna break out my camera.
smaller than them. Um, they dismembered and ate their corpses and they pickled the leftovers in barrels, which is quite disgusting for me to think about. Um, it seems like when they were done getting all of the meat off the corpses, they would discard the bodies into the water that they lived by. Um, sometimes the bodies would wash back up on the beach, which made the villagers believe that the person had been attacked by some type of animal, maybe a shark or something like that. Um, and it was said that Sonny Bean intentionally did this to conceal their
the Sony Bean Clan, and they were not expecting what they saw inside the cave. Um, when they entered the cave, and for whatever reason, every single source said, by torch light, like that was so important, but whatever, when they entered the cave, um, they found the clan surrounded by human remains, and they even saw some body parts hanging from the walls, along with the barrels filled with limbs, in addition to all the human body parts, um, they found piles of stolen heirlooms and jewelry. From here, there are another two ways in which it is believed that it all ended. The first source, they said that the clan surrendered without a fight and they were promptly executed. The men had their genitalia cut off and thrown into a fire and then had their hands and feet severed and were left to bleed out. Um, some source said that Alex Land Alexander's last word was, it's not over until it's over, but I saw different sources that says that he like said this whole ballad about the women and it like I don't know it's either it's not over until it's over or he gave this whole big ballad you can go look it up on google Sonny Bean's ballad and it'll pop up um the women were burned at the stake as witches of course they were called witches and then they were burned at the stake um so that is one way that it was thought to have ended the other way that it was thought to have all ended was um the search team retreated out of the cave and they placed an abundance of gunpowder at the entrance of the cave and the Sonic Bean clan suffered their fate of suffocation. I don't know which one is more true. When I did my research, it really was like half and half. So, yeah. Um, something that was also um, a little interesting tidbit was that in a nearby town, it was thought that one of the daughters of Sonny and Black Agnes had escaped to live a quote-unquote normal life. But when it was discovered who she was, she was labeled a witch and hanged. Okay, so that's like the true crime part of it. Now get into the conspiracy theory. Do I believe that this happened? Okay, there are some little tidbits of information that I can give you guys and then we can come to a conclusion. I'm gonna say mine on camera. Y'all can say y'all's in the comments on whether you believe it was true or whether you believe parts of it was true or whatever. So here we go. So, this story was first printed in the Newgate calendar, which on the streets was known as the Male Factors Bloody Register. I have no idea what that means. I feel like that entire phrase is like old timey. Like, what is a bloody register? I think male factor means like men, you know, like things that men indulge in. Uh, yeah, but I don't really know how to interpret that term. Male factors, bloody register. Um, but what is important about that is that the Newgate calendar was actually a crime catalog of the Newgate prison. So some people say that these are just, you know, old prison stories and whatnot. I don't know. Also, the story was found in some early British chapbooks. Once again, like a chapbook, from my understanding, is like a gossip magazine. Like, 
that's what they called gossip magazines back in the day so it's like a tabloid it would be essential it would essentially be the same as a story in the tabloids today now think about the tabloids today do you believe the stories in the tabloids like for the most part the stories are over exaggerated and a lot of times the stories are completely wrong but every tabloid starts with a sprinkle of the truth just a little sprinkle of the truth and whether that truth is expound upon in a real light or whether that truth is exaggerated to something that is completely not what it is it's like a toss up you know you never really know because you don't know we don't know the true story so I don't know the fact that it was kind of in like a tabloid type magazine makes me questionable but then it kind of also gives it a little bit of substance because to me it makes me feel like something about the story is true the, the story in its entirety may not be true but there may be elements of truth to the story so maybe it's not a completely made up thing moving on there was a broad side which is I think just like a newspaper I'm pretty sure like a one sheeted newspaper I think that's what a broadside is. But a broadside circa 1750 that stated that the Sony being glad in fact did live in the cave, but that they weren't cannibalizing people, that they were catching and eating stray cats. Which may be true. We don't know. Um and then about the Sony Bean clan and it was done by the Scotsman and at the end they state that this is a true story I don't know like the Scotsman is apparently a Scottish newsletter that has been reporting since 1817 which makes me want to believe that they're credible and if they're saying that this is true it might be true I don't know y'all is this just like a crazy urban legend or do you think that it's a true story some people say that it's completely made up I don't think it's completely made up I think it has some elements of the truth like yeah maybe they was eating people but I think they definitely were an incest family living in the cave and they probably were robbing people taking their jewelry and stuff but it's the cannibalism part that I don't know is 100% true I don't know tell me what y'all think in the comments below so yeah that is my story and a video for today I hope y'all like this video. And with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and